DJ here with Achieve Peak, and today we're going to be doing a 12 minute stretching routine. So we have 10 total stretches that we're going to be doing. We're going to do them for one minute each, and in between each of the stretches, we will then take a 10 second break just to get into our next stretch. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications. And leave a comment on this video. Let us know what you thought about it and what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Now let's get to stretching. All right, so we got about 30 seconds until we begin. Uh, quick note, this is not a comprehensive stretching routine. It is just a quick one to get you off and on your way and flex, uh, general flexibility uh, going on. So our first stretching movement that we're going to be doing is a side bend and we're going to bend to the left. So we're going to get a little bit wider than shoulder width stance. We're gonna put our arms up in the air. You can actually put them together. And then we're gonna to stretch to the side, to the left here. And my alarm didn't go off for some reason, but here we go, I'll let you know when we're gonna stop. So as you go, just try to stretch a little more. You can even, uh, so right now, as you can see, I'm actually fully like to the side, which you can be doing is slowly kind of moving forward, getting that low back stretch. You can start to kind of feel it wrap around from your obliques and serratus all the way around to that low back muscle back there. Just kind of let it stretch out. Whatever you feel is tight, just kind of hang there for a second and, uh, and let it stretch out real well. So I've been having some back problems lately, low back problems. So I kind of typically like to go a little bit more to the, to the front, really feel that back stretch out and kind of bring it back. And you don't have to if it's too much. You can have one arm up, one arm down, both arms down if it's a little too much. Whatever feels good to you, really. All right, so that's a minute. We have uh, 10 seconds until we go to the right side. So here we go. Let's get ready and go. Here we go. You don't have to add in some like bells or something, some type of dinging. So if you hear a ding, I added that in. You're welcome. I screwed up, my bad. Again, be out to the side, really stretching the, uh, the obliques and the serratus right here. And then if you want, again, kind of start moving to the, to the front. You'll start feeling it more in the back. Right there is when I can kind of start feeling it right above my hip back there. Just kind of play around with it. Figure out what you have that's tight and uh, just kind of hang out there for a second. Go in, go out, move back, move forth. Good controlled movements, don't forget to breathe. Good controlled breath, you don't want to hold your breath doing this. You've got five seconds left on this. There we go. All right, 10 seconds. So now we're going into a Jefferson curl. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna slowly go down. So we got two seconds. Here we go. So Jefferson curl, we're just slowly gonna start rounding our back and think of it like vertebrae by vertebrae. We're just gonna slowly go to the ground, allowing that back to stretch out. So now I can feel it in my lower back, getting closer to my hips, staying nice and close, legs straight. I get it all the way down. When I get to the bottom, I'm actually just gonna kind of grab the backs of my legs and pull. Really feel that back stretch, those hamstrings, even a little bit in the calves. We're just gonna hang out here for a second. And then we're slowly gonna start coming back up. If you need to on the way up, you can slightly bend your knees. I understand it's a little tough sometimes. Keeping them straight, so a little bend is fine. And again, just come up vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice and slow. You really kind of feel it stretch out. Take a nice big deep breath. All right, we've got 10 seconds. We're gonna go into a pectoral stretch. So you may need a door jam for this. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna put your arm up. It should be parallel with the ground here. And then you're just going to kind of push away from it and push that elbow in and you should feel it right across the outside of your pec. You can kind of lean forward, lean back a little bit. Just try to uh, rotate externally away from it and get that stretch in. If you don't have a door jam, what you can do 
is you can lie on the ground and get in that same position. So uh, arm up, so you should be at a 90 degrees, and then push up with your opposite arm here. And again, just kind of try to maneuver yourself to really feel it stretch. Go a little higher, go a little lower. See what works for you. So now I can really feel it right there. And that joint feels good. There we go. So that's another way you can do it if you don't have anything. You can also try to put that arm all the way out. You feel it pulling the biceps. All right, there we go. So we're going to go to the left side now. Again, with the left side, you can be up against something. Hopefully, I'm still in the video. Kind of lean into it. Here we go. So let's start stretching here. Just look at the timers and the, uh, let's see, it would be on the top left of your screen. That's where I usually put them. There we go. Really try to get that stretch. You should feel it right in there. And you can also, if you want, bring the arm down, bring it up a little lower. Just kind of feel where it's tight at. Turn away from it. Really feel it. Let me go back down here. You can kind of see both ways. So here we go. We're going to put that arm down. And with the right arm, we are going to push the body up. Pivot away from it. Feeling it really good right here. Again, you can do it straight out. I feel a big time in my biceps when I do this, so I typically like to keep my arm uh, curved. All right, there we go. All right, so now uh, we're gonna go into a lunge with uh, arm crossover. So we'll do uh, left first. Let's put that left foot out. We're gonna kind of be the 90 here, 90 with the back leg. We're actually gonna squeeze that glute. Tighten that glute up and you'll feel it stretch in your hips or uh, in your hip flexor right here. And what we're going to do is with the right arm, cross it over, and then stretch it out there. So now we're getting two stretches in here, save a little bit of time. Try to push forward a little bit. Really try to lengthen that hip flexor. Don't forget to breathe. If you hear some weird noises, it's a text message. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. My bad. 15 seconds. Try to stretch a little further each time, especially with that hip flexor. Really get it. Try turning away from it as we go, turning to the left side. All right, there we go. I'm holding this for a second, so we're going to switch sides. Here we go. Let's switch sides. Get in here 90 and 90. Squeeze that glute. All right, let's get started. Squeeze that glute back there on the left side now. Cross that left arm over and then turn to the right. Remember to breathe. I always notice, even myself and other people, whenever they're stretching, they're like, and then they hold a breath for a second. Remember your breath. Lean a little bit forward into those hips. Really try to extend it out and push forward, almost like you're pushing down at an angle here. Getting that shoulder stretch. You should really feel it back here. Might even a little bit in the back. That trapezius muscle back there. Good controlled breathing. Keep slowly pushing into it. You'll feel that hip flexor start to release. Don't forget to kind of turn too. All right, there we go. So we're going into a seated shoulder extension right here. So uh, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to turn it at an angle, is we're going to put our hands towards the back, um, and then we're just going to slowly extend out right here. You can kind of rock back and forth on your tailbone. So you start really feeling it in your shoulders, feel it pulling in the biceps, really open up those shoulders. Get in here, don't forget to breathe. And then what you'll notice is once you've reached that kind of maximum extension for yourself, if you keep trying to go lower, all you're going to be doing is starting to bend in the back. Right here, your, your lower back and core is going to start to bend, and then 
you're going to kind of be able to try to straighten up, get a nice tight back, and then you'll really feel it in those shoulders. Good controlled breathing. This is just stuff that's working out, to be honest. Five seconds left. Let's go. Come on. Stretch it out. All right, there we go. 10 seconds. All right, so now we're going into a 90-90 hip stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that leg out there at 90, this one at 90, and we're going to lean forward into it. So what I like to do is I typically have one hand on my foot, and then I'll put this other, uh, other arm, and I'll kind of wrap it around that knee, so then I can pull forwards. So you can kind of see it from a little different angle here. So me personally, I'm kind of trying to push towards this foot in the front, kind of pull that way. And that's when I can feel it the most in that hip and lower back. Again, don't forget to breathe. Good controlled movements. Focus on trying to go a little bit lower. You'll slowly feel that muscle start to release. 10 seconds. Controlled breathing. All right. So now we're going to uh, switch sides. Actually, I think this is going to be uh, one or two sides longer. I'll have to set that up on my watch real quick. All right, let's go. Right side, again, put my hand on a foot, kind of put that forearm of the opposite one up under the knee and then kind of pull towards an angle. Let me get my watch set up for one minute timers. There we go. So we have um, two more stretches left. So it's gonna be 12 stretches in total. My bad, messed it up. Remember to breathe. Try to go a little further each time. We've got right around 10 seconds left. All right, we got a 10 second break. And now we're gonna go into a figure four hip stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie down on our back Put one foot over, so I got my left over the right, and then we're gonna grab it from under here and grab the knee, and then pull it up. All right, let me get my timer out over here. One minute, and we're gonna get started. So we'll kind of reach up, now you can kind of pull back. Really try to pull that knee into you, feel it all up in here. Really stretching those hips out. A lot of people have uh, tight hips, tight hip flexors, or weak hips. Actually, you'll have weak hips, which is like your glute med, uh, your glute medius, and tight hip flexor, and that's from sitting down all day, not really, really working them, not extending them. You gotta kind of stretch a couple times a day to really see a difference. I don't know how long I have left, but I'm sure my watch will vibrate and tell me. Try to keep pulling. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. All right, release. We're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna put that right leg over the left leg. And then again, we're gonna reach through. So you're gonna reach through. Let me turn around. Reach through with that one and then uh, around with the other one with the arms that is. All right, so 60 seconds. Let's get started. This is the last one right here. If you want, you can put that head down to rest your neck. Feel it in that hip. Try a little bit in the back. As it stretches, keep trying to pull a little harder to increase the flexibility. I think I got family home. We got a bunch of family in town today. 
Bon, non, la dernière de ce qu'elle. Good control breathing. All right, there we go. We are done. All right, if you enjoyed this uh, flexibility routine, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know what you thought about this video, what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Until next time, see you guys.